Alice and I recently had the opportunity to interview Greg Todd, who was a pilot in the Rhodesian Air Force uh, for the duration of the war. Greg has in his possession an original recording uh, of the Green Leader raid, which he participated in. In fact, he was flying next to Chris Dixon, who led the raid, uh, who was Green Leader. Unfortunately, Chris Dixon is no longer with us. Uh, but thankfully, Greg is still with us, and uh, he gave me some wonderful photographs. And by way of an introduction to this interview, I decided to publish the voice recording of the Green Leader Raid, which many of you have probably heard before, although the only versions I've heard have been very heavily edited. Um, so what I give you here is actually the full uh, and, and reasonably unedited version. I've only edited out the silences and those transmissions that were unintelligible. So um, just to introduce this recording, I'd like to just give a little bit of background. For those of us who are Rhodesians, this was a very emotional time. I can remember it was almost a watershed moment, very similar to, I suppose, if you were a New Yorker uh, living in New York on September the 11th, um, you know, that kind of, it was, it, was, it was that sort of feeling that it created a huge amount of emotion and, and anger, etc. What I'm talking about is the shooting down of Air Rhodesia Flight 825, which was a scheduled passenger flight uh, that was shot down by the Zimbabwe People's Revolutionary Army, or ZIPRA, on the 3rd of September 1978. Um, it was a Vickers Viscount uh, named the Hanyani, and it was flying from Victoria Falls to Salisbury via the resort town of Kariba. I believe there were 52 passengers on board, uh, all of them civilians, and four crew members, uh, which includes two uh, hostesses. 38 died in the crash. Um, when the plane came down, the pilot, I believe, very skillfully managed to belly land uh, into a field of cotton but not realizing that there was a ditch in the middle of the field which uh, caused the plane to cartwheel and break up and 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 burn. Of those passengers who survived, many were, were seriously injured. Ten of them remained with the aircraft while five of them went off to look for water and three of them hid in the bush when uh, another group of, of guerrillas arrived. Um, rounded up the passengers and massacred them. I can remember the the tremendous feeling of emotion and anger which which uh, arose from this incident. Following the attack, Josh and Como, the leader of Zipra, claimed responsibility for the attack when he was interviewed by the BBC. And I remember him even laughing about it, uh, although he denied killing any civilians um, and there was a, a an uprising of, of, of emotion from the Rhodesian people and, a, and a, a, as Greg says in his interview you know our, our, our nation's morale took a real hit um, and really in response to to that horrific event several things happened one was Ian Smith broke off his immediately broke off his talks with Joshua and Como, and Smith himself called in Como a monster. The military planned uh, some retaliatory raids, uh, the first one being Operation Snoopy, which I won't go into now, and the second one being Operation Gatling. Operation Gatling was launched on the 19th of October 1978 and was a joint force operation between the Air Force and the Army, uh, which contributed the Rhodesian Special Air Service Regiment and the Rhodesian Light Infantry Paratroopers. Um, their primary target was just 16 kilometers or 10 miles northeast of Lusaka uh, in what was formerly White owned Westlands Farm, which had been transformed into Zipra's main headquarters and a training base under the name of Freedom Camp. Um, Zipra presumed that Rhodesia would never dare to attack a site so close to Lusaka and about 4,000 guerrillas underwent training at Freedom Camp uh, with senior Zipra staff on site. Um, 
there were other targets as well. Uh, Chikumbi, 19 kilometers or 12 miles north of Lusaka, and Makushi Camp. All three were to be attacked more or less simultaneously in a coordinated sweep across Zambia. Squadron leader Chris Dixon, who, who identified himself to Lusaka Airport Tower as Green Leader, uh, led the raid. The Air Force flew in at very low altitude, uh, thereby avoiding Zambian radar, and took control of the country's airspace for about a quarter of an hour during the initial assault on Westland's farm. And so I'm going to leave it off there. If you want in-depth insight into this whole incident and, and, and the, what followed, I suggest uh, reading Ian Pringle's excellent book on the subject entitled Green Leader Operation Gatling. In this first video, uh, we have the Green Leader Raid recording. And in the next follow-up video, we will have the interview that Hannes did uh, with Greg Todd. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the tower. I'll just listen up from the head. Got... Thanks. I can switch it off here. It's too much noise. About how long for the descent before the descent? Uh, start descending from this road. I'm just trying to get us definitely on the bloody thing. Okay. I'm going slightly starboard. Right, let's start descending, sir. Okay, do you want to maintain the same or do you want me to reduce to 250? No, maintain the same speed. We'll have to increase it to maintain 300. Okay. Green descending. Roger. Right, yeah. Shall I take another five, ten knots? Yes, sir. Roger, right, 270. Roger, one, one. One zero one nine is set now. Four fifty feet. Four thousand five hundred rather. Two eighty knots. Uh, two is three ten knots and two eighty degrees. Keep going to the left here. Let it go. Okay. Hello, Hello, zero, right. zero, five. zero zero five. Yeah. I can see flags. How about it? Watch the wires. Come is unreal. Go left another two degrees. Red two, just tighten it up to the front. Go left two degrees. Zero zero one. Okay, we're coming up to one minute out. We're on track and we're on time. Put your speed up uh, 20 knots. Green, blue, your level. Roger, we're at uh, 1,600 feet. Let's go down low, crossing the river, sir. We're at 290 knots coming up. No. Jump up to the top. Roger, we're coming up to the stream now. To make your heading 320 now. 320. Oh, correction, no. Steady, sorry. Um... Zero, zero, six. Zero, zero, six. Right, let's get the next heading. Zero, zero, six we've got. Let's go low down, yeah? Yeah. Let's fucking get off them. Roger, we're crossing the stream now. Sure. Well done, JR. Your blue set well into low level now. Turning left now. One, two. Three, zero, four. Three, zero, four. We'll get up the time of those. Yeah. Come on, get round there, you can. One bird, 304, rolling out now. How's the speed? We're holding about 290. That's fine. Let's check on these rivers. Go left, about two degrees. 302, Roger. Yeah, but stop with a track. It was possibly that turn. We didn't get round as yeah. fast as I'd wanted. Speed is, the timing looks okay. Bring the speed back 15 knots. Get on track, on time. Dead right. Ah. Uh. These hunters with this bloody golf on the hour or something, it's all painted bloody red. Take two degrees left. Oh, Joe, that makes us uh, three zero zero. Uh, I thought we'd gone back to three zero four. Still three zero two. All right, three zero two back here. Now I was on three zero two. <coughs> oh, shit, I hope these fucking wings don't fall off. Swatch your speed. Yeah, it's two seventy five, which is the fifteen you wanted of. You want me to get down? Uh, yeah, you can go down a bit. Okay. Okay, we're on track on time, yeah. Dead right. About a minute and a half before the hunters leave us. Okay. Take, uh, two starboard. Two starboard, 304. Three yeah. zero four. Okay, make it 305. 305, zero okay. Yeah. Make it 306. 306, zero okay, you got it. There's not a peep out of tower, so that's going to be superb. We won't have to talk to him. Yeah, the hunters will be going in them. About 50 seconds. Okay. Go right another two degrees. Yeah, this bloody school. 308. Yeah. 446, we're in your back, right? That's bloody tough. Okay, just stand by, sir. We're coming up to you. Roger. I think we've passed it, sir. I think that rise on our right is the one. Nice. Should be my turning point. Ah, shut up, man. Okay. 
Gun. Go with the gun. Huh? Uh, blue section gun. Blue section gun. The blue seven out. Okay, we spot on time this. Way. Okay, shut up. Bring us feet back. Five knots. Roger, 270 knots, you've got it now. Shit, they're not accelerating that bloody quickly. 71. Okay, the next heading is 281, sir. 281, Roger. And I'll give you doors. Put the switch on at the same time. Yes, we'll do. I think it was somebody in that other frequency, in fact, you know. Tower frequency will come in clear, saying it's... I've switched it off, I think, at that stage. Oh. No, I don't think so, Mike. It was a bloody turning point, bloody thing. Okay, we're coming up in 30 seconds to turn, sir. Roger. It's still staring. Over on our left, yeah. Should see the bridge fairly shortly. No, it's like such a... Yeah, there's a road. And you can start turning. Just turning now. now. Yeah, sir. Three, that is 281. No, we just missed it. Bridge is just on the left, confirmed. Yes, there's a bridge just on the left. Put it around tighter, then. Okay. We passed 281, so I turn back onto it yes, now. Yes, go to 281. Little old farmers. That's 281 we've got. Back to bring us feet back. Okay. 240. Roger. Passing north of our track. Just steer 281. Steering 281. Your left 280. 280. 240 knots. Okay, everything is set up. I'm not reading. Roger. Have you got us? Uh, not on the fields, no. Uh, okay. There's a school coming out. Roger, and I'll have 310 knots about and 280 and 4500 QNH 1019. Right. There's nothing from time. I'm not going to call them, okay? Thank you, Dick. That's going to be perfect. Oh, this little dam coming up. Interesting port. It goes uh, right. 283. 284. Go right some more. Just I want to get a spot 2, 8, on. 284 or 285. Well, I want to do a kink, sir, to get okay. a spot on. Just go right. Tell me when to roll out. I can go left 282 now. 285. 282. 282. Power line's down here. Roger, Dee. Coming up to about two minutes. Right, Mark. Which ties up? I've got a map reading. 282. Yeah, I've got two minutes to run. Perfect. Let's go left a bit. Okay, steady. That's 278. Okay, right. 282 now. 282. Okay, sports wheel coming up. Coming up to our acceleration point. 282, the heading. 282 is the heading. Okay, we should start accelerating now. Roger, shall I go? Let's just leave in case they're going to be a bit late. Okay. To the minute. The leader's telling us. Okay. Accelerate. Green's accelerating. Roger. And once we get there, put your doors open. Yeah, as soon as I've got my speed. Okay, go left a bit. Go left. More? No. Okay, go back now. On to 282, quickly. Three and put the... Roger. Heightened speed, speed okay. okay. Roger, I've got the... Target. Oh, beautiful, yes. Speed up or is no, that okay? Speed's fine. So go left. Steady. Heading. 278. Roger, Steady. Steady. Lift the touch. Beautiful, Tony. Steady. Steady. Lift the touch. Steady. 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 Got to turn switching doors open. Yes, switching doors. Steady. Right to touch. I've got them in the field. Steady. I'm going to get them. Yes. Steady. Fucking beautiful. Steady. Steady. Now. Bomb's gone. They're running. Beautiful. Jesus Christ, you want to see all those fuckers? The fucking bombs are beautiful. What the fuck is Greg Todd doing no, to no, no, Roger, we're straight through them. Go down below the wall. Roger. Fucking beautiful. Roger, I'm just going to continue on this thing. Oh, they're running straight into the other frags. Yeah, I know. Beautiful. Roger, let me just get onto fucking tar and give them a bloody message. Where's this fucking piece of speech? I think it'll be better when we've climbed up. Yes, I will. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the thing ready. That was my shame. Father, let's get up. Funny for two to get through then. Well, that works out better than it could have. They run straight into the flag. Okay, cars are coming up. Fucking magnificent. Turn left, sir. I do want it to stop, but just tell them gang left. A two yard up. Yeah. Ten yard. Gang left. Heading my. It's off, sir. Okay. Jesus. Look out for your car, sir. Look out for your car. Let me bug his. This height is mad. There's a bloody city there. There's people running on the left. Have you got the visual? Are we putting K cars here? Hey? Eh? Are they K cars? They're the yeah, they've got K cars in there. They'll have a beautiful time. They're like fucking ants running around there, eh? Jesus, that was a swarm of them. Shit. Three jinx robot. Yeah, it was a fucking enormous thing. Oh, come Jesus, that bar of stuff, the tape recorder. What's that? Uh, come back with your lifter. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Straight ahead for one more minute. Okay. Keep, Keep an eye out for the wires, sir. Yeah, I was going to say, for a big pile and. Just off and feed you, eh? So we're crossing the road. Okay. K3 leaving, one. stop it. Fine, yeah. Just leaving. K3 for stop it. Roger. Okay, we back. Uh, Roger, I'm on town now. Uh, I'll give them a shot. Stop it, three, one, two. Go ahead. You got a message on the relay. K1's leaving, stop it. Before you do that, turn okay. left, sir. Turn left, aren't you? Okay, I was 
Let's get the bloody heading out. One, three, two. Okay. Just check that tape recorder while you're there. If, if you've got the time, otherwise leave it. Still turning. Oh, John. Okay, let me try and get the speed off. Uh, the Sarkatar, this is Green Leader. How do you read? Let's put it up. The Sarkatar, this is Green Leader. I'm going to... Uh, Tar, this is Green Leader. This is a message for the station commander at Mumba from the Rhodesian Air Force. We are attacking the terrorist base at Westlands Farm at this time. This attack is against Rhodesian dissidents and not against Zambia. Rhodesia has no quarrel, repeat, no quarrel with Zambia or her security forces. We therefore ask you not to intervene or oppose our attack. However, we are orbiting your airfield at this time and are under orders to shoot down any Zambian Air Force aircraft which does not comply with this request and attempts to take off. Did you copy all that? Copied. Roger, thanks. Cheers. Jesus, you should have seen the bombs raining down from the other aircraft here. Fucking okay, incredible. Okay, see those people running on the plot down there, Hansi? Yeah, I did. Transmitting. I like those take-offs, get those buggers. I so tempted to drop short, you know, into, <laughs> into all of them. Yeah. Right. But the other ones were going on to them. Yeah. Because they were running that way. Rhodesian Air Force 1181. Shall I answer them? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, can you confirm uh, we can let our civil aircraft take off from here? You have no objection? Roger, we have no objection there, but I advise you for the moment to stand by on that. I request that you hang on for about a short while, half an hour or so. Okay. Uh, I suppose, can you please keep uh, listening watch on this as well, so do we ask you what you want to ask? Uh, Roger, you will What will I call you? Call me Green Leader. Green Leader, Roger. Thanks. Roger, I'm clearing down towards the southeast at this time. Just follow me down at the setting level. Uh, we just are uh, using the rest of our ammo. Okay, so okay, what? Roger, we've still got a stoppage. I think we won't be able to sort it out. But you find I've disappeared down towards the southeastern corner of the camp and I'm setting course back now. That couldn't have worked out better. They ran straight into the bombs. Couldn't believe it, you know. Yeah. Okay, so confirm you've been the area. Roger, I'm in the southern side of the orbit, descending about the leaf. All right, I'm leaving now then. I've got your visual. No one's ready. Okay. Out of the block. Beautiful, John, you're clear straight at them. K2, K1 and K3 and 4, copy visual. Thank you, sir, madam. Thousand feet to go, and I've kept the speed up the whole way. K lead, this is white lead, have you finished? Affirmative, you're clear at Roger, what would you like to, us to take off? Roger, I think that building that you were going for has been taken out completely, but you might like to have a re go back on it just to make absolutely certain. Uh, Roger, uh, white 2 lead. Go. I'll just say, would you like to watch my strikes and then um, do restrike after me? Roger, will this. I'll just say, I think if you can take out the, um, the radio shack down there, do you know which one it is? Affirmative. I'll just say, if you'll take out that one and I'll uh, put my friends on the um, headquarters after the attacking from south to north. Roger, copy. Roger, uh, speed's going up to 3 Okay, take it. You'll take it. Okay. Uh, two's got 470. Uh, 3, 470. 4, 4, 40. Yeah, I'll tell you, are cheating, eh? Okay, three and four, call us visual. The three, the three. Yeah, they're cheating the fuel. The buggers have put more in. <laughs> Don't they were meant to. My girlfriend, that says, okay, call one. Lusaka, Kenya, four, three, two. Do you want to eat? Four, three, two, stand by. My girlfriend, that says, okay, call one. Okay, call one, dolphin three, go ahead. All right, so dolphin three, okay, call section, right, twice section, go ahead, everything, okay, okay. Okay, Roger, we heard nothing from green section. Confirm they did go through. That's the firm, but they ran right on target. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, Dolphin 3 from Greenlead. Green, this is Dolphin 3, go ahead. Uh, Roger, I've been... Are you listening out on, uh, 1181? Uh, negative, I've been listening out just on the other one. Uh, Roger, shortly I'm going to ask you to take over on that frequency to pass certain messages which I'll advise you about. Okay, understand 1181, you want to? Affirmative, uh, not just yet, but if you listen out on that facility. Lead the one, Lusaka. Now, Lusaka, this is Greenlead, go ahead. Did you see uh, Green Leader, if, I, if it's not con inconvenience you, can you change frequency to 121 one decimal 3? 121 one decimal 3 for the soccer point, please. Yeah, Roger D. 121 one decimal 3. Okay, well, Good, Jeff. Okay, if you give me that. 
What do you want? One, two, uh, one. Four, four, six is standby. Four, three, two, standby. Mark number this. One, two, one, decimal three. Uh, the mark number, thanks, yes. Uh, wrong target, sorry, Clive. Uh, Dolphin three, this is Greenleaf. Greenleaf, Dolphin three, go ahead. Roger, go one, two, one, decimal three now. Uh, Roger, stand by. Greenleaf, the Lucerta. Ah, go ahead. We're still coming by for my civilian operation. Uh, Roger D. If you're hang file, I'll advise you shortly. Uh, I have one to take off to the north, and if you have no objection, another one to take off to the south. The civilian, you know. Yeah, I want to the I want to the civilian. Uh, stand by one. Do you reckon they'll be able to get it? What runway are they using? Tell them no. Fire your guns. Yeah. Uh, the soccer tower is uh, green lead. Good, uh, right. Uh, Roger, I request you hold them for another ten minutes. Two uh, uh, bad right. Thank you. A bit of telling that we're going out of range, sir. Yeah. Uh, Lusaka, this is Green Lead. Going, come again. Uh, Roger, this is Green Leader. Would you now contact Dolphin 3? He'll be taking over my transmissions. Uh, uh, Dolphin 3, Roger. Dolphin 3, Lusaka. Roger, Lusaka, this is Dolphin 3, do you read? Dolphin 3, Lusaka. Uh, Dolphin 3, this is Green Lead. I've advised uh, Lusaka to hold their civilian traffic for another 10 minutes. Uh, we're going out of range shortly. Would you keep up that uh, transmission? Roger. Uh, do you want me to give the full transmission or just the fact that they must keep them on the ground for another 10? Oh, no. They've got the full transmission just to hold them on the ground for another 10 minutes until we are clear of the area. This is Dolphin 3. Do you read? Dolphin 3, Lusakam. Lusakam, this is Dolphin 3. I'm reading you loud and clear. This is just the message that you are to keep your air traffic on the ground for another one zero ten minutes. Did you copy, over? Dolphin 3, thank you. I have uh, a civilian aircraft coming in from the north to land in about um, one zero minutes. Any objection him coming to land? Uh, Roger, there's no problem with that. You can let him come in and land. The main thing is that if there are any uh, Air Force air force traffic, they are to remain on the ground, ever. Dolphin 3, thank you. I'll let you in one civilian aircraft come to land, and I'll stand by for the takeoff, as long as you remain on this frequency. Yeah, okay, that's fine. You can let that civilian uh, traffic land. There's no hassle on it. Don't coming up to six. Six, seven, eight. The hunters are fucking squalling back like scalded cats up here. Fucking little trails of white shit in the sky. White, right, this is Dolphin 3, do you mean? Have you got the VOR? Roger, will you call us when you're clear? Sorry. Go on, pick up the fucking DME. Oh, uh, yeah. I wonder if it's gone US with those bloody bumps. We on the... Three, two... Oh, what the fuck am I talking about? We are on the... About the 130 radio, which in fact... And what are we on to here, sir? Should be on about the 140 radio. Yeah. We are on the 140. Oh, we are on the 140. I beg your pardon, yeah. Not 13. Roger, steady. White Dolphin 3, where you calling? Yeah, I've got us on DME, 140 miles. Okay. I'm just starting to give it a go now, White Dead. Yeah, sorry, Dave, I still can't see you. Say again. John, the left 4 o'clock to you. Ah, right, division. Oh, I'm switching that tape recorder off. Yeah. Okay, so, um, MLA-1. can land, there's no problem on that. I will call you when uh, we are completely clear, but I can see no problems with your civilian traffic landing at your location, Evan. Uh, Green Leader 1 said uh, I was not to allow civilian planes to take off until you said so. I'm good anyway. Roger, just stand by. We do not want them to operate anywhere to the north of your field. If they are holding south, then it is all right, okay? Yeah, my, my arriving aircraft is coming from the north. I, I hope you are assuring safety, sir. Roger, I suggest ask him possibly to do one wide orbit. Can you tell me what height he is at, over? Delta Alpha, you're passing over. Delta Alpha, 385. 885, passing 85. Take a case, actually. Just give me a shot on power. I'm using the Dolphin 3, my aircraft is passing 85. 8,500 feet. Roger, understand. 8,500. Could he maintain? Green section. Section radar. Right Flight level 250. Uh, we'll be total D at 58 uh, for the field at 08, and we request priority landing for all our aircraft. The approach is Dolphin 3. Go ahead. Cool, uh, boys. Affirmative. Uh, you can resume normal air traffic now, over. Uh, that is confirmed. Are you reading me? Uh, that is affirmative. Our task is complete, and we are 
are leaving the area. I repeat, we have no quarrel uh, with Zambia or security forces or any civilian traffic. Uh, I would like to thank you very much indeed for your cooperation.